Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello friends, today we are going to discuss one of the important topic under intellectual property rights that is copyright infringement and remedies. So, under copyright infringement and remedies, we are going to discuss in one part infringement and another part remedies. We will also take some case law which amounts to infringement under copyright act 1957. So, before we start the infringement, just I am going through the main outset of copyright. A copyright is a exclusive right which is granted to the author or the creator of a work by the government for limited period of time. As we have already discussed, this is given for the lifetime plus 60 years of age. So, till this period, this copyright owner is a exclusive right to exclude other or have right to reproduce in any manner as per her convenience or he can also give license or he can assign also to any other body. But when any other person is using that particular copyright work without the, the permission of that copyright owner, in that case that amounts to, uh, this copyright owner can file a case against him or that amounts to infringement also. So, we have already discussed, but we should go through these subject matter of copyright which are given under section 13 and 14 of Indian Copyright Act. Here the copyright owner has right to reproduce all these things in any manner whether it is a literary work, artistic work, dramatic work, cinematograph work or sound recording, computer programs, compilation of data, architecture work, photographs, even engraving or sculptures also. Here I want to add here performance rights are also comes under this. We will also discuss here the performer how the performance rights are infringed under, under this copyright act and another concern is uh, broadcasters rights. So, all these things are comes under the copyright, but if someone is using that copyright material without permission or consent of this copyright owner, it amounts to infringement. So, as per section 14, we have already discussed the meaning of this copyright. Just go through that, ki these are the following acts which copyright owner has exclusive right to do or authorized doing. He can reproduce the work, issue copies of the work or we can say perform the work in public, make cinematograph film of that particular work or he can also make sound recording of that work. He can also translate work, adapt that work or he can do whatever he wants. So, he can also write to relinquish also, he has a right to transfer also, he has right to make something other out of that. So, all these things are comes under rights of that copyright holder. But if some other person do some act according to this section which are against or in contravention of this section that will come under this infringement. So, what amounts to infringement now? As per section 51 of Indian Copyright Act, some provisions or some clauses are there where we can say this following acts amounts to infringement if they are done by a particular person without permission of copyright owner. So, as per section 51 clause A, when any person without a license, one thing is that if you are taking permission, if you are taking license and giving royalty to that particular person or you are taking license, it may be voluntarily, it may be graciously. So, in that case there is no need of uh, these royalty, but you should be authorized to do or some act with that copyright work that is comes under the license. But if any person without license granted by owner of copyright or the register of copyright under this act, first thing without license you are doing something or making this copyright infringement or second you are doing in contravention of the condition of license. First without license, but here 
you have license, but license is granted to you for performing some art, but you are broadcasting those things that also amounts to infringement. So, two cases are there. In the first case, license is not there, you are we can say infringer, but in second case, license is there with that third person, but he is doing some work which is in contravention. For example, we are, the license is granted to some uh, book publisher for uh, the sale in Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh only or we can say for South Asian countries only, but that book publisher is publishing those book out of South Asian countries to UK also to USA also. So, this he has doing work in contravention of this condition of license. So, similarly for example, this World Cup was just held a few days back. If broadcasting rights are given for to broadcast these ICC matches, World Cup matches in India, but that TV channel is broadcasting those out of India that also amounts to infringement. Another concern is that that person does anything by the exclusive right to do which by this act conferred upon owner of the copyright. The thing which owner is entitled, but another person is doing that thing that also amounts to this uh, copyright violation or infringement of that thing. And another person permit for profit any place, he is permitting place also to be used for the communication to of the work to the public. So, it may be performance site, you are providing the whole where, where or some room where broadcasting rights are being violated, you are performing, uh, you are giving some hole where yeah, you are giving platform on online also where communication to the public is going on. So, here, here the we can say on the online medium intermediary for example, YouTube or other channels they can be consider that if they are providing platform, but here specifically any place is uh, specify here, here if someone is providing any place or permit for profit for communication of work to the public where such communication constitute an infringement of copyright unless he was not aware and he has not reasonable ground to believing that such communication to public will be infringement of copyright. So, here in these both cases uh, we can say there may be no menseria in his mind then he is doing bona fide thing then that does not amount to infringement, but we can say in both cases unless and until either he is authorized or giving license in that case we can say both these clause are not in contravention of that thing if they are authorized by that particular person or he is performing or providing that place for profit without we can say these bad intention. So, that is comes under section 51. So, another concern is when any person makes for sale, hire or sales or let for hire, buy of trade, display or offer for sale or hire, these also he is making sales for all these things, distributing those things to the effect, which affect prejudicially the owner of copyright. So, in these cases where you are doing some work which is we can say prejudicially affect the owner of this copyright automatically it amounts to infringement. We can take example of this physical property also, if you have a property or some person is taken that property on rent, he is authorized to uh, live there, but he is doing commercial work at that. So, you can also object for that. So, similarly, if that another person is distributing those things for the trade or such extent which affect prejudicially the owner of a copyright that amounts to it. You can take example of this literary work also or we can say same thing if this South Asian countries were the jurisdiction of that this uh, copyright for copyright purpose or for distribution of copyright work the jurisdiction is only South Asian country, but you are distributing outside that uh, jurisdiction or the we can say uh, this territory then which that will affect prejudicially that owner of copyright. So, here the intention of this provision is that or we that have been uh, we can say make sale hire or sale by way of trade exhibiting the public, whether that amounts to infringement, yes that amounts to infringement here 
he is importing into India and infringing copy of the work. So, in these two three cases, you are authorized for particular purpose, but you are going beyond that. Second, you are trading by exhibiting in the public also, or you are importing infringing copy into India. That thing amounts to copyright infringement as per section 51 of Indian Copyright Act. So, we can take example of movies also, you can take example of literary work also, you can take example of artistic work also, when that is confined to particular territory and you are doing something beyond that, you are giving license for particular work, particular act, but you are giving beyond that particular things. So, another important concern is for purpose of this section, the reproduction of any literary, dramatic, musical, artistic work as we seen in section 13 and 14 of the act, your work in the form of cinematograph films shall be deemed to be infringing copy. You are reproducing these literary, dramatic, musical work in movies, in serials or in any other form that also amounts to infringing copy. So, it is abridgment of the work, it is we can say translation of the work, if any other form you are creating by your photo, we are saying photocopying also, we are we are making translation also, we are changing form of those things in the movie also, that amounts to infringement as per section 51. So, now as per section 52, as we have already discussed, there are some these activities where that uh, the third person work is not amounts to infringement when it is up to uh, he is used in fair manner. So, when a person purchase particular thing that can be for personal use or that can be for private use. So, that is allowed under section 52, uh, this does not amounts to infringement. I am citing this section 52, very important section we have already discussed, but again you must know these acts does not amount to infringement even though you have done your this you have copied that work for your your work without permission or without license of copyright owner. So, another thing is this uh, research purposes or academic or education purposes that is also allowed as per section 52 of Indian Copyright Act 1957. So, we can also uh, show movies to the students for education purposes, we can also use research papers for our uh, this uh, PhD or dissertations also, but the it is advisable you should acknowledge those uh, the, the in the form of footnote or end note for the work from which you have copied that is good on the part of researcher. So, you can also play songs in your college or university uh, under uh, by protection of section 52 in education, academic or research purposes. So, it should not be for commercial purpose. So, it should not be for profit use or it should not be for commercial purpose that is the main thing otherwise you can do this research or academic purpose without permission of authors. So, you can also review, criticize, we have already done, you can report current events or you can also add here facts also, facts cannot be copyrightable. So, news reportings are also allowed, there is legislative and judicial proceedings are there, where if we can say this legislative and judicial proceedings, the judgments of high court, supreme court are allowed to cite by students or all the teachers or you can also use for private per, uh, use only. So, here legislative Vidhan Sabha, Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha or Vidhan Parishad, every proceeding with them you can use for your uh, research paper also, you can use for uh, we can say private purpose also. So, under this high court, supreme court judgment you can also use, but there are so many cases where some companies private these publishing company try to monopolize or try to having exclusive right on these supreme court or high court judgment. There is important case we will discuss later on Eastern book company versus DB Modak. So, we will discuss later on there one another case is there Eastern book company versus Naveen J. Desai there also some dispute were there regarding these supreme court or high court judgment. So, just I want to quote here two three cases.
from which you can know ki how these things are infringements are taken place or how court has done commendable work in protection of copyright by their judgments. In this R G Anand versus Deluxe Films very important case in which first thing was that you know the idea cannot be copyrightable, but expression of idea is copyrightable. So, court in this case observed that where same idea is being developed into a different manner, it is manifestation that the source being common similarity are bound to occur. In such case court should determine whether or not the similarity are on fundamental or substantial aspect of mode of expression adopted in the copyright work with some variation here and there. Now, it depends on the court, it is the discretionary power of the court to see ki whether the person the infringer has copied how much amount of that work, whether idea cannot be copyrightable. Now, if we have to see for example, in Bollywood movies 80 percent of the movies are based on the romance or based on the love stories. So, in those love stories what up to what extent another person has copied. There are so many movies which are uh, this uh, rich uh, the rich person girl is there and poor boy a uh, poor father boy is there. So, the love affair is there and now uh, this uh, quarrel is there between the parents and at last they fled away or they married each other. So, there are number of instances number of stories which are in Bollywood movies and same with the we can say one, uh, one can see this uh, a woman of substance which was written by Barbara uh, this Barbara Taylor and uh, this serial was made on uh, this uh, Sahara entertainment channel we will discuss in later on. So, their idea was same is uh, similarly in Swember uh, these so many TV channels telecast Swember these serials whether it is a uh, these uh, this Rahul Mahajan Swember was there this is uh, Rakhi Sawant Swember was also there, Mika Singh uh, this uh, Swember was also there. So, idea is same, but they have given different uh, this uh, expression of that idea, the different expression of that Swember. So, similarly, Kon Banega Karodpati is based on the this who wants to be millionaire concept which was uh, of UK concept. So, Indian persons the Indian producers or we can say star plus is giving royalty to who wants to be millionaire producer. Similarly, you can take master chef India, master chef India or we can say this uh, another serials are there big boss. So, all these serials concept is copied from foreign countries. So, they have to uh, we can say uh, this uh, give royalty to those persons. So, here we can say these are uh, these liable to pay compensation if they are violating the, these concept or uh, express ideas. So, I want to tell you about the rights of author although we have already discussed, but these things this copyright owner has right to do, but some another person is doing these work without permission that amounts to infringement. Now, we can take some cases also where someone is produced the work in public without permission, he has published the work without permission of another person. So, the we can see here with so many cases. So, there is one important case which was decided by Delhi High Court that case was elsewhere company limited this uh, publisher limited versus Alexandra Albakia. See this Alexandra Albakia has created a one website, the website name is Sai Hub or Sky Hub we can say Sai Hub. So, in that case this purpose of this website to remove all barriers in the way of science, although purpose is very good objective of this website is very good, but th this lady is uploading so many latest research paper which belongs to science community which belongs to different uh, social science and science community. So, because of that now there are so many other publishing house whether it is elsewhere it is Springer or Royal Society of this chemistry all are being tensed by these uploading of latest research paper uh, which belong to these publishing house. So, they filed a case in USA also from where the USA court has imposed a penalty on this Alexandra Elbakia. 
So, similarly in India so many people are also this downloading the research papers. So, this these companies has also filed a case against Al Alexandra Elbakia who is owner of Sky Hub. So, Delhi High Court has also given a judgment in favor of these publishing house and asked this Alexandra not to upload the papers after 2020. But Alexandra Elbakia is not defendant is not ready to give up his, uh, her job and now again I visited this website also there is also latest paper is there. But now thing is that although copyright is there copyright has two purposes to protect the interest of producer also and to protect the interest of author also. But, but side by side we have to think about the interest of journal public. So, being a university professor we can download these paper from the uh, Inflibnet or other so many websites provided by free of course by the university grant commission, but laymen or the students who are not part of some good, uh, good university where uh, facility is provided. So, for those it is good, but as per law it is illegal. So, uh, the government of India or the these science community should give some uh, we can say mediate path where the layman or other persons can also download the these paper. As we see if we want to download those paper it amounts to 30 dollar or 30 euro or 50 dollar 50 euro. So, a layman or a person who has no earning or in developing countries they have some problem relating to that. So, this is very good judgment relating to infringement where US court and Delhi high court has also says there is an infringement in this case. So, another important case I met this Rameshwari photocopier also in Delhi school of economics where this Oxford university press or this Cambridge university press or these, these companies Taylor and Francis or elsewhere these private publishing group are this filed a case against this Rameshwari photocopier who has a one particular shop in this Delhi school of economic campus in of Delhi university. So, there they are saying ki if the universities are going to pay 5 lakh rupees per annum as a royalty they are allowed photocopy of any number of book in their premises. So, in this case this Delhi school of economics has made a contract with this Rameshwari photocopier for providing some uh, uh, free copies to the office of Delhi school of economics plus they are providing photocopy to every student at the rate of rupees 40 paisa. So, if first you have to give 40 paisa uh, photocopy and second they have to provide I think 2000 free pages to office of Delhi school of economics. So, the contract was taken place now this person is preparing the uh, we can say module of first semester second semester and the professors who have recommended the articles or the coursework everything was in the form of photocopy. So, now when they came this private companies came to know about all these they filed the case against this and they are saying this is infringement of our copyright. So, Delhi high court uh, justice and law has given wonderful judgment by protecting the interest of this right to education of the student and also protecting the distance education these modules because no one can take whole book for one particular topic or one particular module. So, this is a compilation of data which is made by the this uh, this Rameshwi photocopier on the recommendations of professor of Delhi University. So, then the question arise then if there is no infringe infringement then under which section it will be included. So, justice and law this included uh, this photocopy under this section 52 of Indian copyright act. So, very Indian copyright 1957. So, this is very good judgment which make balance between the private interest of the this uh, uh, this publisher vis a vis public uh, public interest. So, balance is made between all these we can say uh, these uh, uh, interest of public 
with the interest of these private publisher. So, very good judgment by Delhi High Court. So, another judgment which is also make balance between the private interest with the public interest. So, here the Google incorporation company has made one uh, we can say big project which of billion dollar project which under that project this Google company are uploading the scanned copy of the world best book which were is in inside of these big libraries whether these are New York library, uh, Yale Law School, Oxford University, Cambridge University or Edinburgh University, every university or Washington University. So, they are paying um, billions of dollars to those universities and made a contract with for scan of all those copies whether one copy is there or 10 copies there that, that does not um, uh, matter, but every uh, that copy of uh, that book must be uploaded on the this website on Google books that now that some author filed an objection against the Google and authors in the form of association has filed a case against Google company. So, authors are saying keep library or the universities have purchased the books from uh, publisher and we have copyright in that how Google can uh, uh, this upload those books without our permission. So, Google has given very good reply they are saying ki if you have objection few authors have objection otherwise copyright was expired of most of the books and second and they are uh, if these some authors are not ready to upload their books they are ready to give around 20 to 25 dollar to each person if they are ready to upload those books. If they are not ready they will remove the link or they will remove the they, that books from the Google books. So, they are also saying we are giving the snippets of those books on the websites. So, snippets are just a overview of that particular book. So, in that we are saying we are not uploading the book we are this making some blank pages also intentionally. So, in that case in this that particular case they are Google is also giving the link for example, amazon.com link is there, flipkart is there, book cart is there. If some person from Kanpur or Delhi like that book by going through the snippets or going through the one chapter, in that case this uh, he can buy that particular book from this publisher also. So, that is a good part this is a win win situation for both uh, these uh, we can say publisher also and the general public also. So, US second circuit court after going through these reply from the Google is uh, given judgment in favor of Google that, but uh, under section uh, we can say under doctrine of fair dealing. In India it is said doctrine of fair dealing, but in USA it is called doctrine of fair use. So, under fair use you can use a particular thing as per their we can say objectives. So, this is also very good case which has protected the interest of general public uh, by this judgment. So, we can also see here this Barbara Taylor has also written one this novel a women of substance in that the uh, Sahara entertainment channel has made Krishma ka Krishma and this Barbara Taylor filed a case against Sahara entertainment channel, but the, the court saying ki there is no proof ki this serial is infringing the right of Barbara Taylor just idea is same because in the both cases we can say this uh, robot is there and the scientist who has made that uh, this robot made his daughter. So, they adopted that robot as a daughter. So, just that idea is there, but whole content is different. So, under this case it does not court says it does not amount to infringement. So, another case just I am saying ki this Delhi high court is saying this uh, this Anil Kapoor the, so many people are using Anil Kapoor voice or Anil Kapoor pictures. So, this uh, Anil Kapoor is saying this is my personality right and his rights are protected by the this uh, Delhi high court, but the word jakas patent on jakas was not given by the this Delhi high court that is also important case just few days back. So, here in this case 
this uh, we can say Sapna Chaudhary is there, one Haryanvi singer is there that has sing a song uh, in one particular movie that is called uh, Vire the Wedding. The one famous song which was written by Amit Kumar of Haryana that is uh, we can say Hatjya Tau Pachane. So, one important one very famous song which Sapna Chaudhary uh, this sing in one movie Vire the Wedding. So, when th this Amit Kumar of Haryana found that his this credit was not given to him and some amount was not given to him from that movie or the uh, the this uh, profit this Sapna Chaudhary earned. So, this Amit Kumar has served legal notice to the Sapna Chaudhary for relating to this song. So, I have seen this uh, particular news in our uh, city uh, newspaper. So, this amounts to infringement, but I think compromise has taken place or what have happened that case is not decided yet. So, another important concept where we say ki whether infringement is going or not, when Sony this company has invented this video recording player, because of video recording now people have purchased this video recorder, video cassette recorder and now when they are not in home, their family member now we can say recorded the, that particular movie or that particular match and at night they can see again uh, on night on repeat basis by playing the video cassette. So, now the question arises whether recording of matches or recording of movies in this video recorder amounts to infringement or not. So, as we see in earlier also when you are using for private purpose only that does not amount to uh, this infringement. So, here what the court has decided here when something is made by particular individual or making individual copy of complete television show for purpose of time shifting a person is a shopkeeper and he is coming at night at home his family member has made video recording of match at night they are seeing that match again or that serial again. So, as per this Supreme Court of United States saying this does not amount to copyright infringement, but it is a fair use as we are saying for personal use for private use it is allowed, but if we say you are using that for commercial use or for profit purpose that amounts to copyright infringement. But when this Universal City Studio USA filed a case in 1984, when new these uh, video recorders were came into existence, they have apprehension in their mind ki it amounts to that will be loss of their uh, we can say selling of these their movies or these cassettes. So, that but Supreme Court of USA says it does not amount to infringement, but it comes under this fair use very important good case relating to time shifting of copyright work. So, we can say some cases about this copyright infringement after that we will do remedies in case of copyrights infringement. So, a super cassette industry also filed a case against myspace.com where there are so many songs which belong to the super cassette industry that is also called T series they, they were uploaded myspace.com. So, that as an intermediary was made liable and that asked to pay compensation to the super cassette industries. So, the super cassette industry has also filed a case against YouTube also where millions of songs are there because super cassette industry is a owner of millions of songs uh, different we can say culture or different nature. So, YouTube is also asked to make some uh, watch or we can vigilant about the infringement at their platform. So, Microsoft has also case against A, B also against we can say number of persons where they are using pirated CDs of Microsoft Office. So, I that is why I am written here x y z. So, there are so many cases where Microsoft has filed case against Apple also, against Samsung also, against different companies also which uh, these uh, acts amounts to copyright infringement. So, Microsoft has also won a case in so many cases. So, we can also discuss here Eastern Book Company versus D B Moda case where this Eastern Book Company has published 
these uh, these reports of Supreme Court cases and High Court cases, and this DB Modak has also made same uh, these cases and published those cases in the market. Now, Eastern Book Company is claiming copyright on the these Supreme Court cases and High Court cases. Now, can you see? this amounts to copyright or not. We have already discussed section 52 in this lecture also at last one clause it is saying the judgments of Supreme Court or High Court or the judicial proceedings are not comes under the infringement. So, you can use that thing, but Eastern use that thing without permission, but Eastern Book Company is saying ki we have also making some footnotes, we are making also head notes also, we are also making some underlines and we are making some bold uh, these uh, words also for easy, uh, easy understanding of the cases. Now, the court says, but D B Modak is saying ki this, this is not an infringement because it amounts to fair dealing. Here Eastern Book Company, this court has passed the judgment in favor of Eastern Book Company, it says when some amount of work is done by hard work of particular person by amounting uh, by spending some time also by investing some money also and creating some different thing. So, D B Modak can download the cases publish those cases, but the headings made by or the notes made by Eastern Book Company should not be copied in toto. So, that is their work headings or the other bold words are work of Eastern Book Company, but it does not it should not be copied by any other company. So, we can also take of another person this Naveen J. Desai case. For example, Eastern Book Company has made a collection of cases from 1950 to 2010. So, 16 60 year cases are compiled in one uh, this uh, in all reports, but Naveen J. Desai has made one, one a CD where in those that CD every case is there from this 1952 uh, this 2010. So, whether this amount to infringement same case if we see the D B Modak case if the headings or the notes are same that amounts to infringement otherwise if the cases are different headings are different then this will come under the doctrine of fair dealing of section 52 of Indian Copyright Act. So, there is also one case in ancient time this is also called St. Columba case where one person has written a particular book by his hand another person uh, taken that book for reading and few days after he returned that book when the original owner uh, see, um, this uh, see ki another person whose neighbor has also written same book on the same idea he complained to the king. Now, king uh, was confused because this was the first case of the copyright violation. So, in this case the king has decided on the basis of this particular principle as the calf belong to cow. Similarly, this copied work belong to copy belongs to original owner. So, very uh, good thing the king kept in his mind that as calf belong to cow. Similarly, copy or that of that work belong to original owner not the secondary owner. So, this was the first case decided in I think 14 or 1300 AD where the first copyright dilemma was there how we protect our rights of particular author. So, right of author was also protected by at that time. So, we can also see this moral rights are also protected by this as Bahubali the statue was also established in this Hyderabad uh, this museum and the Raja Moli has asked to remove that or either to give compensation. The this owner of that museum has this remove the statue of Bahubali or Prabhas from the Hyderabad museum. So, just latest case is there. Similarly, Professor Jagbir Athi of Rohtak University has written one particular this poem Court Me Kutta and he has tweet on the Twitter Amitabh Bachchan also like that poem has retweet, but he has given credit to some another person. So, when Jagbir Athi came to know about this 
and ask the Amitabh Bachchan serve the legal notice also and give send email also. Amitabh Bachchan uh, has felt sorry for that and also written on Twitter about his mistake. So, these are also covered under the we can say these moral rights which are also infringement of that can be there. So, in India there are copyright society you can see here IPRS which is relating to performing rights society, IRRO that is Rep reprography rights society that is related to photocopying work and ISRA Indian Singer Rights Association. Here Lata Mangeshkar we can say or Sonu Nigam all these persons are comes under the Singer Rights Association for protecting their right. So, here whether these are a photocopy association, whether these are the literary work association, they are protecting the right of these author collectively throughout India, but you have to give some fees to them and go for the registration your work as a copyright. So, we have also performers as we talk about this performance right under this Indian Singer Right Association because they are performing on the these stages also whether it is a uh, this uh, so many people are performing on the stage whether it is a uh, this uh, Sonu Nigam or we can say other people are there who are performing on the stages. So, performance includes the actor, dancer, musician, singer, acrobats, any person who is performing before the public that is the performer special definition is also given, but when someone is using that work they have right to produce sound everything performer. But they have right to take the royalty also, they have right to sell, but if some other person, the other persons are making these things without permission that amounts to infringement. So, these are the things when without consent someone is reproducing the work of the performer or using that work or using that for any other purpose where consent is not obtained, they are broadcasting or communicating without consent to the public that amounts to infringement under this copyright act. Similarly, broadcasters are also their right whether it is a Netflix or whether it is a this hot star or whether it is a sports star, ESPN, star sports, 10 sports, every channel has their broadcasting right. Whether this is a Delhi Doordarshan or we can say any other new channel also. So, they have also broadcasting rights if some other channel or FM channel, FM channel is also comes into the broadcasters. So, if they are rebroadcasting that broadcast without permission, the whole game is of permission, whole game is of economics, whole game is of giving royalties. So, if you are taking permission and giving royalty, there is no we can say concept of infringement, but you are doing that work for example, you are entering into the premises of another person that amounts to infringement. So, when you are doing all these work without permission, then it amounts to we can say infringement of broadcasting rights. So, there are some important amendments in also in uh, this act copyright act in 2000, which is relating to the technological protection measures for penalties for all these things. So, as now it is age of knowledge economy, it is age of we can say internet, so many copyrights infringements are taken place, we are using so many things without permission as it is we are saying we taken for granted all these things. So, for that we are uploading or we are making YouTube videos without taking permission, we are broadcasting the things. So, so many people are now uh, we can say having apprehension in their mind ki their rights will be uh, these infringed. So, we have to change our this copyright um, um, act in 2012, where for royalty for author, music composer or protecting the economic and moral right of performer special amendments were given this made for making enable the physical disabled person for these any work which may be literary, musical or all these things. We are making the audio books for these physical disabled people also as per amendment of 2012. So, there, there is a right of owner against person possessing dealing with infringing copy. First a person has infringed that particular copy, but now right the owner has also right 
against those person who has infringing copy. So, we can also uh, this uh, discuss the remedies of injunction also, but before that we can say this all infringing copy which cop in which copyright subsists and all plates from which copyright infringement is taken place, they are deemed to be infringing copy and, and they are property of the owner of copyright. So, copyright owner can take uh, or seize or possess those copies of infringed copy and take them to their home and this produce as an evidence in the court also. So, section 52 is very important in relating to the infringing material. So, there are remedies which are another concept under this our this lecture. So, there are three types of remedies, civil remedies, criminal remedies and administrative remedies. So, under civil remedies we can say these are number of types where a copyright owner can file a case for damages for particular it may be of there is no limit or we cannot determine before filing a case you can file a case for damages also, but under account of profit you can calculate the profit which another person has taken you can also file a case for account of profit in that particular field. So, you can also file a case for injunctions there are many types of injunctions under copyright act where we can say first of all you can file a case for permanent injunction to restrain other person in future, but before that if the case will go for the 4 or 5 years what will you do. So, you can also uh, this file an application under uh, this order 3 and uh, order 39 rule 1 and 2 of CPC where you have to prove prime FSI evidence balance of convenience and if this temporary injunction is not granted you will suffer irreparable loss. So, if you prove these three essentials of temporary injunction in that case you will get the temporary injunction. So, these are the major thing the temporary injunction can be granted till further order or till the disposal of the case. So, that that defendant should not uh, do further infringement in that particular case also. So, they are very good these injunctions are there. Now, as per circumstances, as per the latest development in this world, as per technology, the copyright is the main uh, we can say area which is suffered or which is affected by the technology. Within few seconds, you can send, you can download the movie from any source or you can send to thousand of persons. So, for restricting these kind of activities, how can we restrain these things. So, new remedies are uh, comes under this it may be common law remedies or it may be uh, need of the time. So, judiciary has done commendable work by we can say evolving such kind of remedy as per time. So, here first of that is John Doe order in India it is also called Ashok Kumar order or Ramesh Kumar order. So, why? it is given for the stranger. So, when we file the case for example, A file a case there must be defendant B. So, here A has filed a case against B. So, specific parties are there, but in joint order there is no such party this injunction or order can be filed against any person the person who will infringe those things automatically becomes a defendant. So, so many movie producers has filed a John Doe order against cable TV operators or against so many websites who are going to which are going to infringe these uh, we can say uh, or broadcasting those movies. So, John Doe order is a very important order from present perspective. So, it can be filed against unknown or stranger also. So, the second injunction is Anton Peeler order same thing is there. Now, if the defendant is infringing something or copyright of particular owner. So, he will not allow you to enter into premises of his factory or his company or his house. So, under this you can go to the court and court will grant you the Anton Pillar order by which you can go to premises you are allowed to go to privacies some protection will be given to you by way of authorities or by, by court also from that you can search you can seize those material also for those 
in uh, four products in the court also. So, that is the main thing Anton Pillar order is also called search order. So, you can go and find out if some infringement is going on or not. So, another important concept is Mreva injunction. So, under Mreva injunction if something is find out then you have also right to freeze that thing. So, freeze means you can produce it to uh, as produce that particular infringe material in court of law to prove your case or to claim damages or account of profit for that. So, here another most important this remedies which is now so many this justice Pratibha Singh has also filed this uh, has uh, given this remedy for this uh, international cricket council for uh, as a few days back this world cup was there and so many websites or so, so many TV channels are broad uh, this uh, there was apprehension in the mind of these ICC or BCCI there is chances or they have apprehension ki some new ch channels or this website will broadcast their these matches. So, they have already taken this dynamic injunction and justice Pratibha Singh is saying it, if these broadcasters will broadcast these matches uh, without permission it will dent on the income of the, the star sports. Star sports for the main channel who is uh, made bid for broadcasting these, uh, these matches. So, this is a latest case where this dynamic injunction was granted by court Delhi High Court for protection of broadcasting right of star sports channel for this. So, this is very good judgment uh, this given by the this honorable justice Pratibha Singh. So, here we can also go for the criminal remedies second type of remedies there here under uh, this civil remedies you can go for the damages or injunction or other type of injunction to restrain the this infringed person. But here in under criminal remedy you can go for the penalty also you can go for the imprisonment also there is also uh, from 6 month this imprisonment is start, but you are again doing same thing again and again uh, imprisonment can be enhanced to 3 years also. So, penalty is also from 1 lakh to 2 lakh. So, there is also some important cases where so many companies have filed a case against the, the, the habitual this, uh, uh, this offender or we can say this infringer. So, there is one administrative remedy also one can file a compulsory licensing under copyright. So, if someone there is no accessibility of copyright material or foreign books or we can say other material anyone a government sue motto or anyone can file an application for example, there is one case Radio Mirchi versus Radio Mirchi Kanpur versus uh, this super cassette industry where super cassette industry has exclusive right on the millions of songs, but he has taking high prices for that high cost for that. So, this Radio Mirchi filed a case against super cassette industry for those songs. So, Delhi High Court has granted just like a compulsory licensing they are saying Radio Mirchi can play the songs, but they can submit the fee reasonable fees in the account of the super cassette industry. So, that is why this compulsory licensing is also there in Indian Copyright Act for protection of interest of general public also. So, although these rights are exclusive, these rights are, are exclusive, but these are not absolute in nature. You are not absolute king, you are king, but limited powers here. So, these are the remedies, but time period is also there for file a case. It does not mean ki once infringement is there, you can file a case after 10 years. No, you can file a case for infringement maximum within 3 years. So, if again infringement is there then fresh period will be start on each new infringement that is a main theme covered under this to file a case of copyright. So, these are the main things where now latest case is also there Abhishek Bachchan has also filed a case against so many websites where fake news relating to health of Aradhya Bachchan was made on that and some dissemination of misinformation was there. So, court has also now decide whether intermediaries whether YouTube or other channels have this take proactive action against such acts or not. So, case is pending in the court. So, all these case prove 
that copyright is we can say has some apprehension we have also apprehension that most affected part of intellectual property rights comes uh, from technology uh, by technology it is affected most of time. So, in 2012 amendment is also made we have also discussed that amendment. So, thank you very much this is the uh, infringement and the remedial part of copyright act after that we will do another lecture thank you so much.